afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this world. We are here again for another Coffee with C. How to choose to be happy. Happiness is a decision. Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. You have to intentionally choose to be happy. You cannot be waiting around for everything to be perfect and that's the only time you decide to be happy. A lot of people say, See, as soon as I get all my problems solved, then I'll be happy. As soon as I get my dream job, as soon as I get more money, as soon as I lose all the weight, oh, as soon as I get married, or as soon as I get to be in a relationship, then I'll start to be happy. It doesn't work like that. In fact, you can be happy now. My friends, tomorrow is not promised. Knowing that, you better not waste another minute to delay your happiness. You being alive, it's an opportunity to be happy. The thing is, most of the time, it's not the big things that steal our happiness. It's the small things. We lose our joy over those little insignificant things that truly do not matter. For example, you wake up in the morning in a very good mood. You have a big day coming up and everything Everything is planned and set. You are so excited for this day. They're all dressed up, pumped up, and just ready to conquer this day. As you go through your morning, traffic starts to slow down. And on top of that, there was a jerk who cuts you in traffic. You get upset and start to lose it all. That one insignificant thing. In the big picture, it doesn't really matter. It has already stolen your joy and sets your mood for the entire day. So how how to choose to be happy? Number one, learn how to categorize the things that happen to you. There are three minute, three hour, or three month problems. What does this mean, Coffee with C? Three minute problems are the ones like traffic slowing down, losing your car keys, someone cuts you in line, or you missing the bus. Three hour problems are like the delayed flight your car breaking down. When you learn how to categorize things that happen to you, you will realize that it's not worth it to be anxious and give up your joy to the three minute and three hour problems. The thing is, they will be gone by the end of the day. You just have to go through it. Number two, you need to relax and just go with the flow. Even all things are not going your way. Life is too short to be upset on every little thing that doesn't go your way. You do not want to let this three minute or even the three hour problem steal your joy. Look at them as interruptions. They are part of life. Keep a good attitude and enjoy your day. Number three, don't let anyone or anything steal your joy. You got stuck in traffic big deal. Your morning is not going as planned. You misplace your car keys. Big deal. Someone cuts you in line. Big deal. Did you die? <laughs> Don't let those insignificant things affect your day. Number four, constantly choose to be happy. You may get tempted to lose your cool. Make a decision to rule over your emotions. For example, when you're in a hurry to go somewhere and then you get stuck in traffic, instead of you being pissed and upset, intentionally have a good attitude and tell yourself, it's okay, I am late, but I'm just gonna be early next time. But still Still, I am going to be happy and thankful that I'll be able to arrive in my destination safe and sound. Don't let those interruptions to be your excuse to be unhappy. I am so pissed today because it was so traffic. You don't have to be pissed today. You can choose to be happy now. Don't let those interruptions and little inconvenience to be your excuse to be unhappy. You know what my friends? That very own traffic could be sparing your life from an accident. That delay may cause you to meet someone or meet the right person. Whatever it is, make a decision to be happy. If you do these four things, you will start to be more thankful, relaxed, and you will start living your life. Because as you can see by now, Happiness is not just gonna fall on us. We have to constantly choose and find happiness within in whatever situation we are in. We have to be people of thanksgiving. Thank you for all your topics, your requests, Comment down below. I create videos every week for my Coffee with C community. And your topic may be next. Until next time.